live I have a tendency to pay more attention to the things that I need Sometimes I drink too much Sometimes I test your trust Sometimes I don't know why you stay with me I'm hard to love, hard to love Oh, I don't make it easy Well, I couldn't do it if I stood where you stood I'm hard to love, hard to love And you say that you need me Well, I don't deserve it, but I love that you love me continue in the booklets that you should find on your chair so you can be fully a part of what we're doing today. So let us begin. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and the Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered in unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Cassandra and Adam now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I require and charge you both here in the presence of God 
that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you now confess it. Cassandra, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Adam, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Now, will all you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? Who presents this woman and this man to be married to each other? The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O gracious and ever-living God, you have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace, that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated as we listen to the scriptures for today. A reading from the Song of Solomon. My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit, the blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death, its jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. The word of the Lord. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. For the reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven on earth derives its name, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with the power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with the measure of all the fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Please stand. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Also with you. The Holy Gospel according to John. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. <clears throat> Well, we're here today to celebrate a very wonderful event, 
And that, of course, is the marriage of Adam and Cassie. Cassie came to my parish as a young girl. And all of us in our parish family had a wonderful opportunity to watch her grow into an exceptional young adult. And when she was in high school, she went to our diocesan summer camp as a counselor. And there she met Adam. So a whole new relationship began. And ultimately, it brought us here today so we can celebrate what together they have become. They're here today to ask God's blessing on this special bond as they take this step to deepen that relationship. As they come together to commit themselves to making the journey of their lives together. And Cassie and Adam, I'm sure in your quiet moments, you're asking yourself, how are we really going to do this? How are we going to make something that's really good even better? How can we make the love that we share a reflection of God's love for all humanity? I'm going to give you just a few practical suggestions. First of all, approach your marriage one day at a time. Each day is going to have potential for your love to grow. Think of it this way. You never want to stop falling in love. Ground your love in honesty. Never keep secrets. Always be each other's best friend. Be aware that just because you get married today, all the problems aren't going to go away. You're going to face struggles together. But being there for each other in whatever situation you find yourself is what is most important. Don't expect perfection from each other. There will be times that you'll fall short. And those times are when you need to be most ready to forgive. Be yourselves. Love each other for who you are, not for who you think people want you to be. God loves you in your uniqueness. Love each other in the very same way. Be good listeners. Stay tuned into each other, your feelings, your needs, being sensitive to each other's emotions. Make nourishing your marriage a real priority because the stuff of life can easily get in the way. Try to remember what you're feeling today and never go to sleep angry at each other. So lastly, make your marriage and your journey of faith something that is intertwined. I like to tell couples getting married, make your marriage a threesome. Now what I mean by that is of course, you wanna make Jesus an equal partner in that relationship. As you ask him today to enter into your bond of love, keep that invitation open all the time. Thank him that you are loved and that you are able to love. May your marriage be a reflection of what it is to love selflessly. Because that's exactly how God loves. So may your union be blessed today and all the days for the rest of your lives. Amen. In the name of God, I, Adam, take you, Cassandra. In the name of God, I, Adam, take you, Cassandra. To be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. To be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward.
For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we're parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Cassie, repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Cassandra. I, Cassandra. Take you, Adam. <laughs> take you, Adam. To be my husband. <laughs> to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And you now can share your personal commitment. Ladies first. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> We're All right. Better, so you you said two sentences, right? <laughs> All right. I do. <laughs> All right. I vow I'll listen to you. I may not understand what you're saying, but I will hear it. I won't comprehend. I'll hear it. Okay. We're good. <laughs> you said two sentences. That was two and a little bit longer. Things with us are never that serious, so why change things now? <laughs> <laughs> I vow to always embarrass you in public. I promise to remember that when you call me stupid or make fun of me, that you're actually saying I love you. <laughs> and finally, I promise to never let you live down that I was only supposed to be a one-night stand. <laughs> Ouch. In all seriousness, though, Seriously. you have always been there for me. You have seen me at my worst, and you've stayed by my side. And you have helped me become a better person and a stronger person over the past 10 years. So I promise to always do the same for you. Amen. We'll need the rings. <laughs> All right, you you just them hold them, <laughs> Joe. All right. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ our Lord. Each of you take the ring that you're going to place on each other's finger. Adam, repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. You may place the ring on Cassie's hand. I know. <laughs> Cassie, you've got to repeat after me if you would. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you in the name of the Father. I honor you in the name of the Father. Of and of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Now that Cassandra and Adam have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of a ring, I pronounce <laughs> That they are husband <laughs> that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Would everybody stand, please? I thought I got away with it. Let's pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, 
Look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your son gave his life, and especially upon this man and this woman whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Give them the wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that each may to be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Give them grace when they hurt each other, to recognize and acknowledge their fault, and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to the sinful and broken world, that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Bestow on them, if it is your will, the gift and the heritage of children, and the grace to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity, which by all your children are united one to another in the living to the dead, so be transformed by your grace that you will, your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven, where, O oh Father, with you, the son, your Son and the Holy Spirit, live and reign in perfect unity now and forever. Amen. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother and to make the way of the cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of man and a woman in his name. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon this man and this woman. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joy and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever, in your heavenly home, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace, that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come have everlasting life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. You may kiss your bride. Can't trade her now. <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. If I get drunk, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I heave up, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's heavering to you. But I would walk 500 
like to have our bride and groom make their way to the middle of the dance floor. As they've chosen for their very special first dance, Hard to Love, Lee Bryce. Sensitive. I have a tendency to pay more attention to the things that I need. Sometimes I drink too much. Sometimes I test your trust. Sometimes I don't know why you stay with me. I'm hard to love, hard to love. Oh, I don't make it easy. Well, I couldn't do it if I stood where you stood. I'm hard to love, hard to love. You say that She love me Please escort your dad to the dance floor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for their special dance, they have chosen Daddy Dance With Me, Crystal. When you look at me as we walk down the aisle. Thank you. 
Sandra and her dad, ladies and gentlemen. Angels, Randy Travis. Thank you, especially to our bridesmaids. I literally couldn't have done this without you guys. And then, of course, Christine. So due to good old COVID, we couldn't have our bridal shower where we wanted. And she instantly offered up her beautiful home to us. And we had an amazing time. And then to Anne. We love this place. Thank you so much for making my sister's dreams come true. Growing up, me and her weren't so close. <laughs> we would fight like cats and dogs. I'm so sorry, mom. <laughs> but then she became my best friend and I got to watch her fall in love. <laughs> right. She moved to Texas with Adam. He stole her away. <laughs> but then they made a life and adopted a million animals. <laughs> and moved cross country and came back home. 
And you guys mean the world to me. And I don't know anyone else who deserves love like this. I love you guys so much. And it's this died. <laughs> Is working better? Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. So thank you all for coming again. It's a great celebration of these two being together. Uh, we've been friends for ages now, since we were little tykes. Cassie, since Beaver Cross moved. So seeing you together is awesome. I'm going to keep my toast very short, and uh, here you guys go. Stopping me in my boots What's a country boy to do But say, uh-huh Smile beat my chest up You're downright dangerous That shaking you giddy up Got my eyes going, what, what Sipping on this 77 Never been this close to heaven Got a pretty turned up to 11 Dropping on dead on the dance floor Somebody better call a doctor She's a little hard stopper I'm talking break a break a one nighter